Uh, the first series that I won, it, like, it did seem like the first year was sort of a practice year. I know it, I didn't play it that way, but the way it's turned out, it seems like that's the way it's ha happened. Yeah, we've just seen Andrew Patrick get us underway here in the next last 16 match. I want to ask you one more thing before we let you go off, because obviously that you just referenced a lot of things that you had to, you know, that you had to get used to that were different. Um, one of the things, obviously, is uh, in the shot clock era, and I've talked about this a little bit on commentary. Have you made any effort to kind of, in 30 seconds, when the balls are open and everything's set as you want to, have you made any effort to sort of just get them done a little bit quicker to make matches go quicker? Is that ever, has that been on your radar at all? Yeah, I've sort of tried to practice a little bit quicker because I know before I've not notoriously been the quickest player on the tour um, but when it does come to practice I do play a little bit quicker but I think when you know the shot clock's physically there yeah. it just puts a little bit more pressure on you but um, I'm sort of trying not to get bogged down a little bit I think I used to overthink some as well so uh, I'm trying to just uh, map them out and get them done Yeah the, well the reason I ask is obviously I've, I've known you and, and seen you play for a long time and you, you've always been great because you've had your sort of your rhythm and it's just that you don't go out of that regardless of how they are but um, you in your first year you seem to end up in a six red shootout every other week it felt like you were in a, in a ton of them and I wondered if you were kind of conscious of it to try and sort of try and give yourself every chance not to end up in them going forward I think it was just sort of not playing to my standard last year yeah um, as well as yeah once, once I get a bit of a rhythm going as well I can play a little bit quicker because yeah. I know my arm is going and I feel like I can pot anything on the table so that does help a little bit so um, yeah just happy to sort of be near the top of my game at the moment um, but like I say, as long as I get the chances, I feel like I'm going to get them. Yeah, well, congratulations on uh, on taking the five you got in that you. Uh, in that last match, and we look forward to seeing you when you come back a little bit later on for the quarterfinals. Cheers, sorry. And we will move on. We're already well underway here in the opening frame between Andrew Patchett and Hitton Patel. And uh, a little bit of a scratchy frame, actually, the way they came out. Very nearly the golden break from Andrew. Not quite to be. Hitton has uh, kind of worked himself into a bit of a problem here with his opening chance. As I re-welcome Stephen Jameson back, who was probably a little bit annoyed that the match he had off to go and get a cup of tea was ridiculously quick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I didn't even blink. And, and back we come. Extension yeah, I played at a rapid pace, that one between two quality players that's the thing with this tournament you're going to get a little bit of that lovely loss of turn from Hitton Patel loss of turn but the nature of a loss of turn shot is it is going to bring your opponent to the table and whilst that was a good shot it may not be a frame winner wonder if Andrew Patchett fancies a little bit of this there's your answer. What a shot. And that yellow doubles. Might even go. I'm just trying to work it out from the, the camera angles that we have. I don't think so. I was wondering if you could get low. Could you just see enough of it? You can, I think you can pot it if you get to the left-hand side of it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to get there. don't think that'll be the plan anyway. Well, he's played in, played this in a way where he can do. So I think he is going to try and get to the left-hand side of the yellow, just come across the top of it. Yeah, he's come around to see what sort of angle he's looking for, but that's why he purposely left plenty of angle on the yellow to right centre. Keep ball. To way too much. Sloppy on that. Time running. That was very in play, but also Andrew will be so disappointed not to have judged that a little bit better. <laughs> it's all about just it's all about where he's hit the cue ball essentially. Tip higher and that's exactly where he needed to be. Yeah, just gripped in it and he knew straight away he got it all wrong. Uh, Hitton, no effort to uh, to go there. Interesting, because he had cue ball in hand, so he's played another snooker. And you can say, well, what happens if he gets cue ball in hand again? But he, he kind of wants Andrew to move the yellow and red. He doesn't mind Andrew getting out of this unless he hits the yellow and sticks on it. 
like that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, isn't it just? So that red can't have gone anywhere, otherwise hit yeah. would have just put it, put the keyboard where he needed to go. But you felt like he could give himself an angle just to play the cannon on it, because he it was slightly dangerous playing the shot he played. It obviously, the percentage was there. I mean, Andrews had to play a great shot to put hit and hit in this uh, this bit of an issue, but he should still get out of it. Oh wow! Has he left it? Is there an edge? I don't think so. I think Hitton's actually quite happy with that rather than potting it because he would have had a really awkward next ball. Oh, there's your answer as to is there an edge? No. And that was better than potting it for me. Looking for a one cushion kick shot. Oh, it wasn't a bad effort at all. Going off to compound it, so this will be a frame win for Hinton Patel from this stage, no doubt about that. Yeah, I think Andrew will be slightly annoyed with the in off there. If the key ball stays on the table, you know, Hinton's still got to play one half a shot just to make sure on, on the sort of cue ball. So going in off just completely gifts it to him, but. More than anything, he'll, he'll still be reeling over that positional shot onto his final yellow. Hit him purposely, trying to make both there. No problems with a simple eight ball for the two places in the last 16. So he did go into every match live, but he played really well. a little tickle and make them a little bit easier may just have to accept where they are now and maybe play a plant on them the rest of the reds are fine I think he's going to play the plant now yeah that will do nicely Two at the top of the table are interesting because if you don't get past straight on the one nearest the right hand side cushion, you then can't get to the one at the top. And he's not past straight. When I say you can't, I wonder if actually the natural gives him the gap of the yellows, in which case you can. But he isn't isn't on the red as he wants to be anyway. I don't think this is a particularly good angle. I think I'd have been tempted to try and play it from where he was before because I think that was giving him the natural to come across the table and hit the gap. Can he find it anyway? Oh, he could. That's an excellent, an excellent line he found, but he's overhit it. He has. I'm not sure what he's got, if he's got anything on here. Or is he okay? to try for a pretty extravagant cocked hat. Yeah, couldn't see enough to pot it. Knew straight away. Well, coming up to the third of the match gone here. In the first ten minutes nearly done. We've got nine gone and Hitton Patel is in complete control of frame two. Chance to go 2 nil up. Might take him a few visits as it did in the opening frame. sure if that was a naked eye I wasn't sure if that was a foul or not but I think I might be the only one that has seen something there I think all the both players and referee are absolutely fine with it and very nearly something special for Andrew there mm.
It's not really a good angle to get on the one on the right hand side. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to get there a lot earlier. That's the one that's the the issue. He's now looking down the table for it because he doesn't look like he, he thinks he can get the right angle on the last or the penultimate yellow. He's going to force himself across. It's, it's quite clever actually in terms of he can now play it down the table with freedom. He can play the snooker on the on the red. He won't want to give Andrew a, a chance to kick at it, but it sort of just gives you a little bit more freedom on the pot. No, he's not going to make the pot. It wasn't a particularly good effort, in all honesty. It was almost like he was more concerned with making sure he got the snooker, which may well be what he was playing. into that a touch too much and a little fortunate glancing off the, the eight ball but it would have taken a very bad nudge not to leave him a, a shot at it eight ball all day how about <laughs> that welcome back into the game yeah. all of a sudden in the mix Straight off the back of it, hit and Patel is dry. Eight ball at the bottom of the table, catching my eye. Does the yellow go? Does the eight ball go? You want the yellow to go. Reds are a little awkward at the top of the table. I think there's enough room. Yeah, there's plenty of room. I was only looking at the overhead where it's a little bit more deceptive. There's room for that yellow at the bottom. side maybe where he played for actually because this gives him a bit more of a natural way of getting to the other yellow at the top needs it to pull up a little bit over hit might have to really get into this one maybe even a bit of a reverse side and I felt like he could use the top cushion I thought it might be a touch straighter on it than that so he had enough angle just to get down and that's perfect that's a really good recovery shot dropping it in off the thickest part of the jaw because he wants to be able to make, make this yellow and himself a good angle on the last yellow which is always going to be the key shot in this frame he needs to come back past the eight ball here did he need to be a turn straighter and a turn further away from the cushion no he played it well really nice it's been a very well constructed finish this one assuming the eight ball goes in Worked his way around the top of the table and the... Oh, I thought he'd missed that for a second, but... Mm. Eight ball again. He's Tracking. getting him moving, isn't he? Mm. As a phone goes off in the arena.
We've got that one maybe a touch thinner. It's come out a little bit more messy. Two yellows near the top right hand cushion are the problem. The rest of the yellows are absolutely fine. That's opened up those yellows. A nice shot from Bitten. Eight balls slightly awkward. I don't know if it goes top left. have been on the one top right with a, a little bit more angle. He might well have got that one out of the way then. And, but from where he is, he can only stay on the cushion, which means he'd be playing easy enough to play onto a yellow to left centre, but you can't then get nicely onto the next ball. Another turn or two off the cushion would have really made a difference. That's why he's tried to come back down further, so that he could sort of drop it in and get on to the next ball but putting that injecting that pace into it forces the miss Difficult to say anything too insightful about this one. There's hit and drops a loss of turn on Andrew. Thing you can do, so can I. Patch it returns the favour. Huge frame as well. Absolutely. Ten minutes to go. Two two. Court final on the line. Oh, beautiful bit of queuing from Hitton, and that should win him this frame. The eight ball does go now to the top left. So. That was brilliant. Here we go. 
back in front. He is. Oh, I felt like as powerful a break as I've ever seen him Patel hit. And yeah. He does not get the reward. That is pretty brutal. Yeah, I feel your pain hitting that. It really is pretty grim. And the chance you've given Andrew Patchett is a golden one. This is really nicely laid out. No real problems here. Considering taking yellow to top left, I would have wanted to play on the yellow top right there, and the straighter on it, the better. Only because I would want to play the yellow top left to come down the table on the diagonal. The diagonal gets you on the perfect angle on the yellow at the bottom of the table. Now he's looking at the other gap, coming down the other way, but if you land straight, question whether the eight ball goes bottom left. He's very fortunate, very, very fortunate to end up where he has overhit the shot. Well, I said he was fortunate. I actually thought he'd left himself a slightly easier shot than it, he actually had. I thought he could just nip that in and, and be on the eight ball. But for me, the decision to go that way round was gave him just half a shot to play and obviously that, that shot's gone wrong. If he goes the other way around at the top of the table, you just you come down on the perfect line and you, you're on the perfect line for about six foot, which is a huge margin of error. Yellow staying over the pocket and the eight ball ending up there. Obviously, it could have gone anywhere. So, very fortunate for Andrew that the eight ball has at least gone to a part of the table that is awkward for for Hitton. But I still fancy him to get out from here. No, he's not going to try and get out. That's what he's played for. He's trying to get straighter in on this to be able to play the loss of turn and just hide the white at the top of the table. Oh, he's not going to hide the white. He has blocked off the pocket. So Andrew could play a, a really good loss of turn back. Hitton's not really kind of forced himself into a strong position from where he was. Tactically, not the best from Hitton Patel. If you're going to go the way you, you went, you've got to get the snooker. I thought you oh, made it. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Patch it to tie it. That one was never in doubt. They never are when you feel like you've got a freebie. 529. Another good hit. Is he on the red to left centre? Question. Yellows are okay. He's got he's got a straight yellow to top left corner. I was just wondering how tricky they would be. I wasn't sure if this went straight away, but you know, yellows were there if he makes the first one. Yellows mm. were the definitely the better set. Not the best of first shots though. For Andrew and I'm just gonna now hit him to go yellows as well. Yellow. 
Oh, hit him. That's very poor. Yeah. Of all the times to drop one like that. He, he, the reason he's missed that is because he's thrown so much side on to get low of the yellow or near straight on the yellow. But why not just float across the yellow and, and leave the super high angle? And then you, you drop that in and you're just drifting naturally up the line towards the one on the right-hand side. You land three-quarter ball on that from, and you can be... I mean, you don't even have to get that close on it. You, it would be frame over. I'm really surprised by the choice of shot. I mean, obviously, you never expect hitting to miss that pot, but that's the reason for missing it. It's because he loaded up with side, and he just natural would have worked. Oh, he's missed another one. His concentration was on the cannon, which he got right, but he misses the pot. Getting edgy out there. Three minutes, 40 left. That's worked out okay. I think the right above the eight ball does still pass to the top right. Well, if it did, I thought he'd play for it there. He's put himself in no man's land. How about this for a shot? That is fabulous. <laughs> and he's even got a little nudge. I think that red might be in a better position top left. I mean, that's outrageously good. I'll show you that again in a moment. That was a corker. Yeah, and the yellow doing, doing good work for him as well, which he obviously had no control over. But that was a well, just a brilliant double. This will hurt. Oh, obviously it didn't do the work from him then. That red can't go to the top left. I thought he could. Well, he second-guessed himself, didn't he? So the, the brilliance of the previous shot is is wasted. Mm. Could have come out worse for him. There's work here. 3-3 three, three with under two minutes to play, and it is edgy as anything out there. Oh, here to make your mind up. He's got his extension. Oh, he's got his extension. He's okay. I don't love this if he's potting it and not busting out this yellow. I don't love this. No. I think he's... I mean, I, I, I'm with you. Don't you pot it. balls on the table. Yeah, but he's not going to try and pot this one, I believe. So I think he was just didn't know he knew he wanted to play safe, he just didn't know how to play safe and then he was he's run out of time to make his mind up basically. You have to say though it's a good safety now and he, he won't care if Andrew gets out of this as long as he doesn't pot it, because it just opens everything up for him. Mm. Well, they're gonna check that's not a foul, but that was fine, I think. Pretty sure this is fine. And actually, he's Andrew's left it awkward enough. But, but Hitton should still be fancy in taking these out. But it does make a difference whether it's a foul or not, because it's a, almost 100% if, if, if it's not a foul. Or if it is a foul, and he gets cube on hand, rather. Just waiting for the referees to get a view of it, to be able to, to, be able to see it. We'll, we'll get to see it yeah, coming shortly. In, coming in in just a sec. Here we go. Oh, we just got the thumbs up from Mark Goff. He's happy with that. It was red first. So a shot to play for Hitton. Minute left, three all. It's easier if the yellow goes top left past the eight ball. But there is enough room to get on it top right. Oh, he's, he's not trying to pot it. it. That's wow. crazy. I'm blown away by that. That yellow must be much harder to get on than it looks like for us. 40 seconds left. Oh, you've 
got to try and win it now, Hitton. You can't play safe again. That's not a terrible shot from Andrew. That just kept on running, but now Hitton's got to go and win it. 18 seconds, this has to go. Brilliant part. Eight seconds. And Hitton knocks in the eight ball. Job done for the hitman, who wins through against Andrew Patchett by four frames to three.